figured I couldn't do an entire drive without going to see some lions, so we're on our way towards the Sausage Tree Pride on a buffalo kill. But, of course, our attention has been arrested by a journey of giraffe, since they are... I don't know, they, they're probably the, one of the most photogenic animals out here, especially in these wide open spaces, all those heads sticking up. They're just such pretty creatures. But this little one is a really, really lovely example of why it is that you should never make assumptions or apply a complete concrete rule to animals out here. So we always talk about the fact that giraffe darken with age, and it's true, they do. But there is also a genetic factor within that, and some are light colored naturally and some are dark colored naturally. And this little guy is still very, very young. I mean, it's a male, but he still hasn't got his thickened ossicones yet, so he's, he's young still. And yet he is darker than pretty much every other giraffe in this group. It's one of the animals that the more you stare at them, the weirder they look. They really do. Tell you what, Shell, hold on a second, because no, I can't imitate it, but what I'll... Oh, that was a funny click. Let's get a bit closer, and then we can chat about the silent giraffe. And of course, this has always been a, a common belief that giraffe don't make any sounds. And I'll see if I can find an exact example of the sounds that they do make. They do snort. That's a pretty easy one to imitate. <laughs> try and avoid using squeaky brakes. Ah, at least one male stopped to look at us. So I'm going to find the sound for, for Shell. And we'll see if I can find the sound for Shell quickly. And we can keep you entertained with visual of a giraffe. Oh, beautiful. Aren't you lovely? So a giraffe can essentially create a sound like a hum. I'm trying to pick the correct one. Let's see if I can play you a giraffe sound. should actually download it. Now I've got that very irritating song in my head about what the fox says. Right. I could deeply regret this because I might get some talking through it, but let's see if this will... Yeah, no, now we've got some odd music. All right, I give up. I give up. I can't find the exact video that I was looking for. Now you, if you Google if you Google giraffe sounds you'll find the sort of humming sound that they make. It's quite it's quite faint and it's quite low. And so unfortunately given the way that my voice box is designed and given that I'm not built like a spotted hyena, I cannot produce the sound properly. Maybe Tristan will do it for us. You never know. If you ask him nicely. <laughs> The advantages of a slightly more solid larynx. Aren't they lovely? They're not going to let me get any closer, I don't think, but let's try. Just not having it today. There's actually, if we have a look from, if we sort of go from left all the way across the scene in front of us, we can do a quick head count because there's actually a load of them around. 
it's quite far spread out but lots and lots of them so this one all on its own and then in the, in the distance I can see another five or so there we go where they all are bending over to feed on some of the lower bushes That's a very good question. Uh, David's wondering about the thick fur on the back of the neck and whether or not it has any function. Essentially the giraffe's mane. I have absolutely no idea. Does the hair have a function? I can't think of one. Much the same way that I, I, I can't really think of the function of a, a reduced mane in the zebra as well. Does anyone know what the giraffe have a mane for? I think it might just be a residual thing. But I can't think of any particular reason why they'd have that ridge of hair down their backs. It's a basic symmetry and the join in the middle of the body. 